I truly appreciate the positive mindset on the panel, and um, I want to go back to Neil's issue about purpose. Like, what, what do we want? Because fundamentally, marketing success is predicated on defining what you want. The Astro Turf is brilliant. The University of Ghana is finishing stadium after what, 11, 12, 13 years. Yeah. We are nearly done. So, in the scheme of things, is there a certain infrastructure ecosystem we need in order to even come near Saudi Arabia? We are. We, that, that's why I said it's the one thing that will, will be a minus for us. Because Brilliant. if we want all these players to come, they certainly will not come and play. On, so, that is what we, I think we urgently need to fix. Brilliant. Yes. So, in a solution spirit... Is there any public-private methodology we can come up with where if government can provide a certain quantum, yes. we throw in the private entrepreneurs, we throw in the University of Ghana-type stadiums, and, and eventually have a certain plan that gives us a certain infrastructure stock by a certain time? Because that's what we need as a basis for carrying this agenda forward. Mm. So somebody should be thinking through this medium to long term and saying, okay, so what do we do? He, he made a point about how the stadia is in population-dense areas because in his mind, he's trying to stop a situation where the youth indulge in vices that can be put off because they are doing sport. Mm. He said he read Baokem, and I thank God for his life, my senior prefect, but <laughs> for me, <laughs> I always go back to the strategy and insight. See, marketing is not just believing God and, you know, just shooting. And I don't, marketing is scientific. Yeah. So, so to, to the extent that we have a sense of the youth dynamics, like you spoke to it. What we want to do with the youth in terms of empowering them and building a certain type of youth. The infrastructure uh, platform we need. And even the marketing thinking within the various players in the space. 20 years ago, I was with Joe, we were doing House of Folk, Jesse. Those days it was and we were trying to sort of find out how we could take proposals to companies to get them to sponsor House of Food. This is 20 years ago mm -hmm. in Adabraka, <laughs> behind the Riley Secondary School in Originate. So it's not as if we, we, we haven't made attempts. But I think that from club level to uh, policy making level, mm -hmm. we, we need marketing thinking all across. Because at the end of the day, we also need to be commercially viable. All this is not just believing God to, to put up infrastructure. At the end of the day, Daniel must, must make some money. I mean, it he might does. not be short term, but even with a long term horizon, at a point, we need some payback. So, for me, we need to start defining at a very basic level what exactly is the football product in this country? Is it just the players? Is it just the pitches? Or is it all the merchandise and the memorabilia? There's a discussion to be had around all that.